we're now beginning to appreciate that depression and psychosis, schizophrenia, a lot of the major mental illnesses are greatly influenced, I hate to say the word caused, but greatly influenced by the balance of bugs in your gut and the rest of your body. So do we have a lot of bugs? Sure. Uh, for every single one of your human cells that you see standing naked in front of the mirror, there's at least one or two or three bugs looking back at you. So we're mostly bugs. Our surface is covered in fungus, the insides, bacteria and viruses. So we, we are full of these organisms that live in symbiosis with us. And when we do something like introduce another foreign bug which makes us ill, their imbalance is experienced by sickness behaviors or depression. And then when I treat you with antibiotics and uh, your bug balance goes back to normal, you feel happier again. We used to think it was because, well, the person's not sick anymore. Well, it's, it's probably more basic than that. So when you become ill mentally or physically, the consequences in your body are very similar. We're not beginning to worry about antibiotics use because if having a good bug balance is so critical and if it is imbalanced, you become depressed, maybe the best thing I can do for you is not give you antibiotics. And if I correct your bugs, maybe I can correct, you know, your brain. That idea has been taken many steps that it's almost become science fiction. Okay, so what do bugs do for you? One of the interesting things that they do for you to help you keep normal, you know, feelings, so you're not depressed, is that they make 60% of all the proteins in your blood. It's like, wow, I need them, absolutely. As those molecules and the bugs in you age, your brain suffers. It ages too, and so does the rest of your body. So someone asked a very simple question. If all that is true, why don't I take a young person and connect them to me as an old person? They did this in animals. And so what happened was that the young person's bo body and brain aged very quickly, and the old person's body and brain actually showed some regenerative uh, properties. The animals became smarter. Um, a number of different uh, measures, uh, biomeasures of aging went away. That is amazing because it suggests that the bugs and what they're in, in their process of their symbiosis with us are aging us. And it's not too surprising. After all, everything you eat, everything you consume, everything you breathe, all the toxins you take in, they experience too. And every day you do this, they're aging and they're taking us with them. And if we sort of replenish them with another organism by literally sharing a young organism's uh, total vasculature, the old organism gets younger and the young organism gets older. It has some frightening consequences about how people might approach anti-aging therapies in the future. But we're discovering that you age body-wide and you can't ignore the bugs.